So I didn't do this by myself. This man played a major part in this fight. But August 26th, that's your ass. That's your ass. You gotta give me that. No one's doing this. No MMA guy has crossed over like this. There's been a few times in history where people have crossed over. Muhammad Ali fought Antonio Inoki um, in Japan many years ago under MMA rules. He, he taught at the time that was a wrestling contest, so that wasn't them. Um, that wasn't like this. Then James Tony, who had a very big problem with the sport, a big problem with the UFC, very similar to the way Floyd has. But he crossed over into our world. Floyd has a problem, but doesn't want to come over and deal with it. He wants me to come over his side. That's no problem, I'll do that. Just noise, the, the old man came. I didn't know which is which, the senior, the junior, I didn't know No, but the old man came and was like saying some stuff. Um, like whatever, what? I don't know. Like what, sir? Say what? Yeah, yeah. I said the old man was I would beat your ass. <laughs> I would beat your ass. You get your chances on August 26th, Junior. Hey, 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 relax, Junior. We're fighting August 26th. I don't want that. I don't want no day. trouble, Junior. I want my own day. I want my own day. Uh, your boy's in trouble, Senior. Your boy is in trouble. Listen, he's too small. Get he's the too fuck small. Out of here. What are you talking about? I'm just telling you, he's too small, too frail. He's little Man, little your ass is head. too frail. You go, and you gonna find it out too. I'm just telling you. Trust and believe me, you gonna find it out. He's too small, senior. You yeah, made a big mistake. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just got greedy, and that's it. You just got no. greedy. He got greedy. You could have. He could have been 49 and 0, rode ro 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 off into the sunset. Trust me, he got greedy here. This is a big. That was a big mistake. What you you misadvised him. Huh? You should have kept him retired. Oh, my God. It's your fault. <laughs> your ass is going to get killed. Your ass is going to get killed. You're going to get killed. Hey, hey. What, what you think you're going to look like when you get your ass up and your ass is got knots all over his your, damn head? Your boy is going to sleep. No, you know. No, and he's going to no, look no. so good in his sleep. I know he is. That boy is gonna look good asleep. I tell you what though, he's gonna wake up a better man. He's gonna wake up a better man, I promise you that. He's gonna beat the shit out of you. He's gonna wake up a better man. He's gonna beat the shit out of you. I guarantee you that. And your ass been knocked out before too. No, never. No, don't tell no damn. No, never. I haven't even been tittled. Oh, but get the hell out of here. How many fights have you lost? How many Submission. fights have you lost? How Submission. many fights have you lost? Submission. Submission. It's Something it. you know nothing about. You don't know nothing about this game. I know about it. I know about it. I bounced shin bone off fights. opponents' heads. You lost three That's the game fights. I come from. You didn't lost three fights. The boy's gonna beat your ass, you're gonna lose four. <laughs> this isn't an actual fight, so this is a boxing match. So I, was, uh, I still yeah, wouldn't count this. He's never even had a fight. He's never even had a fight. That man to beat all the top fighters he is. And all them, all them same fighters that he beat can beat your ass. He's beat a lot of bombs. That's He's right. He's beat a lot of high Shane fighters. Shane Mosley would beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> would you? Stop. Hey, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shane All Mosley, them young guys would beat your ass. Are you serious? Shane Mosley. He's about 90. It's playing 2018, mate. That was a good back and forth, I think. I don't know. We're just going at it. This is what it is. It's all noise at the end of the day. So. You, think you, think you, you think your son finishes him? Don't work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, what I, I don't. All this, it's, it's all just noise at the end of the day. The fight is the fight. Hey. We're gonna get in and we're gonna fight. Okay. So I look forward to it. Come on. Um, we talked about it. Spit it out. I'm gonna spit it out. I ain't gonna spit it out. <laughs> Take that flip flop out of your mouth. I'm gonna tell you this right here. Go, go, I listen. I'm gonna tell you this here. 
After my son beat your ass. You're the fine floor team. I'm next. I know you're the fine. I'm next. You're the fine. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, I know. You're the fine of my shit. Oh, I'm gonna get them. I know. I can see a fine when I fucking see you. You're the fine. Someone, someone said they were signed the autograph. Now you think? Now you talk about how small he is. He gonna whoop your ass while he's small and. Now you run, now you running up on me, I'm gonna beat this shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, brilliant. Good man, Floyd, have a seat now. Connor, it's Connor, 16 months ago, just out here. Connor, 16 months ago, we, we talked about this fight together one day, and it was thought about as potentially being a billion dollar fight, and it could still be that. Mm -hmm. um, serious question, obviously, you're gonna go out there and, and, and deliver on August the 26th, and if you beat Floyd, you, you know, it will be massive for you, and potentially you may fight him again, we don't know. But how difficult or how easy will it be to go back to MMA afterwards? Because you are gonna earn an extraordinary amount of money for this. Say it again. You're gonna earn an extraordinary amount of money. One more time. <laughs> an extraordinary <laughs> amount of money. Uh, um, look. I love, I love a true fight. Elbows, knees, shin bone, foot. You ever, you ever bounce a shin bone off a nose bone? You ever dug an elbow into the temple? It's an unusual feeling. It's an unusual feeling when the elbow bone digs into the temple. It's a nasty little one, but it's something that just, I just enjoy. It's something I love to do. So I look forward to going back to, to uh, MMA and have a true fight after this. Uh, maybe rematches and all will probably be in there, I'm sure. Um, Look, we'll see, but um, I'm not forgetting my mixed martial arts training. I always focus on my kicking game. I always focus on my grappling. I always focus on my, on my wrestling. I always focus on my... Focus on my, my and then occasionally I, I do a little I bit mean, of boxing here. Hey, when, when do you want to box me? Tomorrow? Somebody's home. You want to box me? You want to box me? Do you want to box me? That's right. Do you want to box me tomorrow? Uh, stop. Do you want to box me tomorrow? Box you tomorrow? Yes. Box you tomorrow? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. Too. Do you wanna have a fight? Do you wanna put on the other leg? Let's have enough. I'm gonna beat the dog shit out of you. Believe me. <laughs> How much have you got? How much have you got? <laughs> you're only paying. The microphone is on. Connor, you're fighting the number one boxer of this generation in his sport. So. Should we use deductive reason and believe that you believe you can How about them for big Irish balls? Let me ask the question. Do you believe you can beat every boxer that's 154 yeah, pounds and under? Yes. Connor, what did you say to Floyd when you guys were talking about it, right? There was many, there was many uh, exchanges. The, the, the main one was the gloves. So he was like, up on the stage, he was saying something, we can do eight ounces, we can do four ounces. I was like, well, hold on. You were crying and their gloves had to be 10 ounce and they couldn't be gloves made from Mexico. They couldn't be Mexican made gloves. They couldn't be gloves made out of horse hair. I didn't even know there was gloves made out of horse hair. We're only wearing gloves a couple of years in their game. I don't even need gloves to have a fight. So it was all just amusing to me as it was going on. But he was talking up there like we'll do four rounds, we'll do this, we'll do that. I was like, let's do it then. And then he was saying something about, M I'll do MMA after. I'll fight you MMA after. It's like, look, don't be talking stuff you wouldn't do. You'd never step over into this game. So, but look, it's all, been, it, it's, I'm, I can't, I'm enjoying myself. Like I said, it's a different plot, it's a different setup. Everything is just different. Um, they didn't tell me, you know, they tried to kind of, you know, they, they kind of sent me up a little bit, just rolled me out there. I was like, what, I was on the stage before I knew it. I was standing on the stage for about 10 minutes. But look, I'm just embracing it, enjoying myself. I feel good, I look good. I mean, company's name is on the post. Life is so damn good and I'm blessed. What about your conditioning? Uh, it's 12 hard rounds, you've never gone 12. Or, and in those two great fights with Nate Diaz, you did become, you did get very tired. <laughs> your ass is in trouble, believe me. Oh shit. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. You are winded in those two great fights You're gonna beat the shit out of you. You're talking about 200 pound man there. You're talking about grappling exchanges. You're talking about elbows, knees, kicks. You're talking about a hell of a different context. A little boxing fight where, they say, where there's a referee to save the day every time there's a tie over the clinch. 12 feet minutes is nothing. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but this game is very easy. It's a very easy game compared to my game. You hear what I say? Say that again. I said if you do it, your ass will be sued. And you boxing. That's what you're going to do, and we're going to beat the shit out of you. 
Whatever, I've got the money after the voice, so sue me. <laughs> no, I know. No, don't, don't be worried. You won't have. Don't get your lawyers after me, seeing you. I thought we're funny. Now we're making a legal battle. You're trying to tweak the feet. You're trying to tweak the feet. Um, legal and everything. What happened to fight, mate? Don't get your lawyers after me, please. <laughs> I want everybody down here for that team. Tell him, tell him. Whoop your ass tomorrow. Tell him, tell him. As long as he keeps, as long as he speaks my name with respect, I will abide by the boxing rules. I'll abide by the Marcus of Queensberry rules only if he speaks my name. If he disrespects me during this tour or during this build-up, then maybe I might, might just bounce an elbow off his eyebrow. So that's on him how he does it. If you do, then I'm gonna knock the fuck out of you. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Listen to this. By the time you climb up into the ring from the steps, he'll already be bust down, but from the eyebrow down. I'll catch, I'll catch you stepping into the ropes. If I strike him or strangle him in that fight, if I strike him or strangle him in the fight, he'll be a... Don't beat the shit out of me. I'll beat the shit out of me. And you know what? I just scared your ass again. Do it again. I just scared your ass again. Do it again! 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 You know it takes three seconds. You know it takes three seconds to to sleep a man from a strangle. An untrained neck, not used to it, it takes two seconds. So if I wrap around his neck and strangle him, he will be asleep within two seconds. On the on the campus in that ring, that's quicker than. Oh, but I gotta go to the ring. So be very very respectful of how you speak my name. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Ha 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 ha! See you later, Floyd! <laughs>